This is one video in a series of videos that show how to use Oracle Apex 5 to build a working web application, a prototype. It won't be fully featured, but it'll be a working application that uses a database in Oracle XE. There are earlier video series in YouTube um, for previous versions of Apex. You can work along with the video by getting the scripts that are available at the URL shown here. Be sure and uh, make the URL case sensitive, so put a capital D, not a lowercase d. You can also, as an alternative, request the scripts be emailed by going to the second link and using the contact page to request the scripts. I'm logged in this time as Carlo, and as Carlo, I'm going to create a couple of master detail forms. So I open up the application and quickly go back and take a look at my data model. So I'm going to create a master detail form based on evaluation and eval item scores. And then I'll do one for workshops and attendances. So this was part of our overall plan for what we needed in terms of simple forms and master detail forms. And we do this master detail because there's such a tight relationship between these two entities that the, the table on the mini side really has no, no clear meaning to us unless we associate it with its parent table, the, the uh, table on the one side. So coming back to the application, I'm going to click Create Page. And I'll do a form. And this time I want master detail. So we select master table and columns up here. So that master is going to be evaluations. By default, all the fields come in over on the, the in the right panel, which is the display panel. And I'll click next. Then we select the detail table, so watching the bullets across the top as well as completing the options below. So eval item scores. Now, this is known by APEX simply because of the definition of the foreign key in relationship to the primary key table, the table with the primary key. So I'll select next. And I'm going to go ahead and have it managed by primary key field, which is defined for each table. We are populating uh, we're populating the master table based on the existing trigger and sequence. And the same thing for the detail table. So these screens look very much alike, but if you look and look carefully, you can tell which one of the tables you're dealing with. I'm not going to change the defaults. I do want a master report. And for this uh, example, we will edit a tabular form on the same page. This is in reference to the detail section. Now we see the master page and the detail page. Page title is evaluations and I'll just say evaluation data or and for the detail we Rather than saying master detail, I'll say evaluation items, evaluation detail. I'll go ahead and do a breadcrumb because I've been doing that in previous reports. I want to create a new navigation menu item based on the home menu. We're at the final screen. It's giving us an overview of what we've designated in this uh, master detail and the properties we've set. And I'm going to click Create. 
After creating the page, Apex brings us to, in this case, if I look at the list, it'll bring us to the evaluation report. So I'm going to go ahead and run this so we can look at it. And I need to log in. Now I'm logging into the application, not to Apex as a design tool. So here we have evaluations and I can click my edit option and then it brings me into my master detail. So what we have in the master detail is the evaluation being done with the items below in the detail section that have been scored. This would be the evaluator ID for a student, the evaluatee ID for a student, the fall and year, the semester and year. In the next video, we will come back and replace these primary key values and, uh, in this case, foreign key values down here so that we see text that's meaningful to us, such as student names or the actual evaluation item description. The one other thing I'm going to do here real quickly is I want to edit this page. I want to select eval ID, which is got a, has a line through it. It's hidden. I want to turn that on as display only and say evaluation ID, give it a useful label, and then I can save that. When I run that, now I can see evaluation ID. I will go back to my application and do an, create another page another master detail. In this case it's going to be for workshops and attendances. Workshops is the master. It's the parent. Then we're seeing our related table which is attendances. You can make this option or take the default. Existing trigger for the master table, existing trigger for the detail table. I'm not changing anything here. I do want to edit the detail form on the same page as the master. So now I just need to look at changing any uh, page in region titles if I want to. So I'm going to say workshops and then I'll say workshop data master detail that's going to be attendance attendance data and go ahead and make my breadcrumb Create my navigation menu entry for home. And then I'm ready to create. I'll pause the video while it creates and then I'll open up the application. So now in our navigation pane I see workshops and I can select that. I get my report. I can click to edit. And when I come in I see for any one workshop I'll see if there are any attendances which would be in this case the student ID. Again in the next video we'll come back and replace this with a, the text information that shows the student name. I did also while I had the video paused I did turn on the primary key field so it's no longer hidden. So that's it for this particular video. We will come back in the next video and make these master detail reports and forms much more user-friendly.